Hey, this is Naveen with your Bad Girls Club 2 recap. And the show yesterday started off with Craig docking us for absolutely nothing. What matters is that we got the job done. Yes, we were two hours late, but we were, you know, we were stuck in traffic and we had to get ready and all we had to do all the work on our own. It's not fair. We did the job. Everything went through. If anything, it should be a warning because a normal job, you would get a warning and then you'd get, you know, doctor. Genevieve and her issues with authority completely boggles my mind. You're the oldest bitch in the house. You have the most responsibilities. You really think that you would, you know, know better. Cordelia is not a fat girl, but she's wa she walks around like she's carrying an extra 200 pounds. And I'm like, why? It's like a real slut, like, like a sloppy, mopey, dopey kind of walk. Okay, you know what? I can't even hate on Cordelia for calling Taylor 500 times because as a woman who's had man problems in the past, I've called dudes plenty of times. So I can't sit there and be like, oh, she's a crazy bitch, but cause that's normal to me. <laughs> Cordelia drinks 24 motherfucking seven. She was like a clown. She would pull like alcohol bottles out of her sleeve from behind her head, from in her pocket, everywhere. There was wine bottles everywhere. She, and I was like, damn, how does her liver function? That wasn't trying to be rude. And when she started crying about it, I was trying so hard not to laugh and not be rude because obviously it upsets her. So I put my head down trying to like cover my mouth. So I wouldn't laugh in this girl's face. I can't even blame Taylor for acting the way he does. Cordelia deserved it. She treated him like absolute shit and cheated on him with a really ugly guy when Taylor is way better looking. Cordelia had an anxiety attack. They didn't tell us anything that happened. All of a sudden is we were all in the kitchen and then whoosh, three directors run up the stairs. Don't come upstairs. Everyone stay downstairs. We're like, what the fuck happened? Those assholes made us think that Cordelia tried to jump off the balcony or try to cut her wrist or something. We all thought she committed suicide. That's why I was like, oh my God. That's why I was holding my heart because I'm like, this girl didn't really kill herself over this kind of crap. I didn't know what happened. But then when I found out it was, you know, just a minor asthma attack and she just needed an inhaler, I was like, oh, whew, not my fault. Andrea, how dare you say I was rude to you? Bitch, I burped. You know what that means? That means I acknowledge your presence. That was me going bleh in the background while Hannah was saying something. That was me acknowledging you were there, okay? I was nice to you. Me and Hannah and Tisha were almost basically celebrating when we found out what Genevieve was about to do. We're like, yes. Yes, not only is the house gonna smell better cause that bitch smells like a public urinal. I go, she can go back to her day job being a truck stop hooker. I'm like, this is so good. I cannot wait. That's it for this week's recap of Bad Girls Club 2. Stay tuned for next week's where Genevieve is ugly, trifling, old, raggedy, beat up ass. Gets kicked out the house in her little competition with Craig. And Cordelia continues to slut around.